Hey everyone, my name is Royce and I'm a second year MD PhD student at UPenn. So I have some really big news to share with you guys. I've actually decided on what my medical specialty will be. This will be when I finally finish my MD PhD program, finish residency, and can finally practice medicine when I'm 50 years old. I'm totally exaggerating here guys. I will be at most 45. And I know deciding on my medical specialty uh, is a huge decision. And that's why I've been thinking really long and hard these last 48 hours so that I know I'm not making a rash decision that'll negatively affect the rest of my life. And so my decision is I wanna be a surgeon. And because I'm MD, PhD, and I wanna be a physician scientist, specifically, I will be a surgeon scientist. For whatever reason, doctors like to add hyphens into things. So they'll say, oh, I'm a clinician investigator, or I'm a surgeon author or something. And it's, you know, honestly really pretentious, but pretentious is what I'm looking for because I'm gonna be a surgeon after all. MD, PhD surgeon scientists are part-time surgeons and also part-time scientists who run their own research labs. In other words, they make less money than pure surgeons. So in preparation for being a surgeon scientist, I have taken on habits that only successful surgeons do. So for example, um, I've stopped responding to the texts and calls of my fiance so that she can start getting used to that in the future. Uh, and I've also shaved my head, so I'm completely bald under this, and that's in order to help me uh, slide on these surgical caps easier in the mornings. I've also swapped out all my clothing for scrubs, and I've just completely thrown out all my other clothing because I won't need that. I'll just be in the hospital all day. I'm really thinking uh, pretty practically here. I've also swapped out all of my masks for these uh, string tie surgical masks. And that's purely just to let people know that, you know, even when I go to the grocery store, that, hey, I'm a surgeon and uh, you should notice me. And overall, I think I'm doing a really good job of taking on the habits that successful surgeons take on. So all jokes aside, I am genuinely interested in becoming a surgeon scientist. I do like the idea of surgery and I love being in the operating room, but um, I don't necessarily like the extremely long career path that is seven years of general surgery residency, plus you know two more years of fellowship. And I also don't like the long hours. That is six, seven days a week and 12 to 14 hours a day. That to me is a really huge turnoff. And that's because, unpopular opinion, I um, genuinely wanna spend time with my future wife and kids. So as of now, I'm drawn towards ENT and ophthalmology. And I think both of those are much more manageable residencies. For example, ENT is only five years, Ophthalmology is only four years, and I say only as if it's like still a small number, but it's relatively shorter and the hours are better. Especially when I become a fully practicing physician scientist, my hours will be a lot better than uh, let's say if I was a general surgeon or like a neurosurgeon or cardiac surgeon, God forbid. So I like Optho and ENT, not only because they are more amenable to happiness than general surgery, but also they both fit very well with my research. My PhD is gonna be in neuro devices and neuroengineering, having a specialty that has to do with, you know, the neck up. And, you know, if I do ophthalmology, specifically something that is, you know, very neuroscience heavy and device heavy, that can make for a very, you know, fulfilling and complementary career of uh, being a clinician and being a scientist. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I was joking earlier in the video that I only thought about this for like two days. But um, in actuality, I've been thinking about this for a few weeks now. Um, but even so, I still have like six years left to go in my MD, PhD. So my clinical interests could very much change and we'll have to see. But for now, I'm like 95% certain that I wanna be a surgeon of some kind. So I'm really excited about this career path and I'm really glad that I feel confident enough to share it with you guys at this point in time. Thanks, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys later.